Hello everyone, my name is Deeksha Jain and I secured the 22nd rank in uh, Civil Services Examination 2018. In this video, I will be talking about Citizens Charter. Citizens Charter is an instrument through which the government endeavors to improve its services to the citizens of the country. And uh, here, uh, the Citizens Charter basically has two dimensions. One is the quality dimension. That the quality of the services, the government services is improved. And the second is the temporal dimension that the service the government is providing should happen in a time bound manner. So, uh, how does a citizen starter do this? First, it builds institutional capacity to provide the service in a time bound manner. Number two, it focuses on behavioral change. Behavioral change of the staff, it uh, focuses on improving courteousness in giving a mind of service to the people, the cutting edge bureaucracy which is working in public service. So the concept of citizen starter was taken in 1990, was started first in 1991 UK and uh, India has taken it from there. So if we were to look in detail at the purpose of what a citizen starter does is that first is clarity. It gives clarity with respect to the expectations of the citizens about the quality type of the service, the time that it will take. So what essentially a citizen starter looks like is a grid or a board which is displayed to the public in any organization. It has all the information with respect to if you want to get this work done then whom you have to approach, how much time it will take. If there is a problem then how can you uh, file, lodge your complaint. So it has that information in a transparent manner. Uh, number two, it enables the government to become more responsive. Uh, then it enhances stakeholder participation. Uh, one of the major features of citizen starter is to get feedback from the beneficiaries of the government and to include that and make sure that the service is better. Another one is strengthening accountability because the citizen starter clarifies that which person in the organization should be providing which service then the accountability of that service not having been provided becomes very clear. And so it uh, ensures accountability, which at the same time increases the efficiency of the organization. It also improves the credibility and the image of the government. Uh, it improves the trust of people in the government that yes, the government can provide good services and the government is meant for the citizens. It creates a service orientation as opposed to a master orientation among the bureaucracy. So that is also one of the larger goals of Citizens Charter. So uh, Indian Citizens Charter program was adopted by Department of Administrative Reforms and uh, Public Grievances and uh, it is expected to incorporate a vision and vision statement that what is the vision of the organization, details of what the organization does, details of the clients served, details of grievance redressal mechanisms services provided, details of compensation in case of delay or in case the service has not been provided and expectation from the client as well. That is, what are the documents that the client has to bring? What are the certain basic expectations that the client has to make sure of so that they can avail the service so they can get their work done? At the central level, it is not enforceable, but now many banks and many institutions are actually, in fact, adopting the citizen starter. There have been certain problems with the citizen starter program in India. People are not aware of it, so lack of awareness. There has been bureaucratic resistance, uh, lack of incentivization of bureaucracy to adopt uh, the more responsive method. Citizens consultation has been merely on paper and citizens charter has not been functioning the way it actually should be on ground. There has also been an understanding that it is a one-size-fits-all approach. It is not malleable to local conditions and uh, requirements of the organization. Review and update of the charter has also many places the charter has been placed but it has not been reviewed or updated so basically rendering it ineffective. So there have been these problems with the citizens charter. So at the same time, the department of uh, the DARPG's uh, model citizens charter has also been provided, which is called the Sevottam model. Now, uh, what does the Sevottam model in brief have? It has a chart mark scheme, which results in citizens empowerment because it marks, uh, you know, exactly uh, who is going to do what and where. There is a grievance redressal machinery. It ensures citizen satisfaction. And there is a service delivery mechanism that increases the capacity and capability of the institution to serve the people. So, uh, Sevyottam is a model charter which can be uh, taken up by any organization and implemented properly. And Citizens Charter is one of the ways 
in which uh, bureaucracy can improve its efficiency and uh, public service on the whole can be improved and trust in the government can be built so that will be all thank you so much subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get latest updates on upcoming videos